So here we are. <laughs> I really just wanted to take a moment to just say everything that YouTube really means to me. I'm happy that I've been part of this platform for 10 years. Uh, we all know there's some things going on with YouTube right now. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Hey guys, welcome back. So square and cute. I was doing some digging yesterday and realized it's my 10 years on YouTube. Now mind you, this is 10 years when my account was created, not 10 years from my first video, but I thought we would do something special today and you guys could get ready with me. Let's get started. So I thought I would celebrate at home it's been a while because of world events going on right now that I've been able to like leave my house and like get dressed up and be fancy. So I figured I'm just gonna do that here in my house, have myself a little like congratulations party for me. And I'm gonna make some strawberry tarts because my friend gave me some fresh strawberries and I wanna use them. So that's what I'm gonna do. First, I wanna get glammed up a little bit because it's been, it's been a long time. I haven't really done a full face of makeup in quite a while. So we are gonna get started. I don't really have, you know, anybody's particular look that I'm trying to go for. Uh, I just wanna do something that I really like and I think looks good. So let's go from this to this. After using the green cream from the Milani Color Correcting Quad on top of my primer, I cover that with a liquid concealer. I believe it's by CoverGirl. I have no idea what shade. For my brows, I have a combination of different e.l.f. products. The powder I'm using is in medium brown, and I use a clear wax pencil to hold and tame my brows. For my foundation, I switch colors and shades really often. Um, I don't really tan, but I get very red and pink sometimes, and then sometimes I get a little more yellow. This is the Maybelline Stay Matte 24 Hour Foundation in 102. It literally stays on my face until I take it off and it doesn't oxidize too much so I don't look orange. I'm just applying that with a Target brand beauty sponge. Then we move to eyeshadow. My absolute holy grail product is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Base. It grabs onto literally everything and it makes dollar store eyeshadow wear like $40 eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with a loose pigment by Maya Cosmetics in the shade Moulin Rouge and putting that on my inner three quarters of my eyelid. I really love this color, y'all, it's so cute. Then on top of that, to add some extra highlight and to kind of take down the intensity, I'm going in with this pinkish gold shade from the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. It doesn't look like it made a huge difference on camera, but trust me, in person, it looks really good. Then from my Profusion Eyes palette, I'm grabbing this black shade. It's really more of a really dark gray, almost a charcoal, but we're just gonna apply that on the outer quarter of our eyelids and blend lightly up and over in the crease. Then I'm going in with a Pixi eyeshadow topper in this gold shimmer. I don't really know what the shade is, but we're trying to focus that on the inner three quarters of the eyelid just for a little bit more fun. Next, I'm going to try my hardest to wing my eyeliner using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And y'all, I really don't have any tips for this part. It's really just a hope and pray kind of thing. Also, because I'm that kind of gal, I use an inliner by Pop Cosmetics to line the inside of my lower and upper lid. Originally, I was gonna wear fake lashes, but they didn't last that long, so I just used the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. This stuff is honestly in my top three favorite mascaras. It's one of the better ones that you can get at the drugstore or Target. And then I had to do my blush, contour, highlight, and lipstick off camera because my camera died, SD card was full, it was wild, but I also straightened my hair and here's the finished look. And now that we're all glam, I'm gonna make some strawberry tarts and I'm gonna leave the recipes because I'm using two recipes. Description box, you can find those there. But I just wanted to, you know, make some miniature pies and talk about my time on YouTube. Like, you know, it's been a lot. I can be myself on YouTube, if that, if that makes sense. You know, like, this is my safe space. 
It's very weird. YouTube is very separate from my personal life. Now my stupid goofy videos that I'm putting on my second channel, like awesome, totally cool. Those are like whatever. You know, this is where I can come if I've had a bad day and I just need to talk about it. This is my happy place. Oh, currently there's some things going on that isn't making me too happy to be part of this platform, but also, you know, I am at a stage in YouTube where I can do whatever I want, I can leave if I want to, I could never post again, and I, it's not really gonna affect my life too heavily, and it's not really gonna affect too many people's lives heavily if I do that. And it's kind of a very freeing feeling, knowing that like whenever I want to, I could just say I've had a good run, but also goodbye. <laughs> I love that you guys bear with me when I'm having a bad day, but you also bear with me when I'm not necessarily creating content that you like. A lot of people signed on mostly for the um, life with me and depression stuff, and I'm doing a lot different stuff now. And that's not to say I'll never do the life with me and depression again, I mean, I am. That's who I am. But. Sometimes I do want to try new and different things. So I don't think I'm ever gonna leave YouTube. Uh, maybe if something comes along that is a little bit better, uh, I might, but for now, you know, for now it just is what it is. So the recipe said to put your butter, once it was cut up into little tiny pieces, um, into a food processor. I don't own one. <laughs> So I'm using this little gadget. It's called the Kitchen Plus 2000 or something. I genuinely don't know. I don't have high hopes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, something is definitely happening. All right, so right now I'm home alone. Sean is at work, so I'm kind of celebrating by myself, but you know what? I know that my friends support me and love me and if they could be here to celebrate with me, they would. I have to look up the next step in the recipe because after crumbing the butter, I don't remember what comes next. You want to put half into the flour and butter and combine and then do it again and combine it again. So I think this is where we're really gonna start seeing the pie crust form, I hope. Oh, that was the ticket. <laughs> Yep, that was the ticket. All right, shaggy dough ball. This is what's happening now. That's one of the things I love about baking and cooking. It's like, you know what? Don't be afraid to just get in there and use your hands. So I'm pretty sure that we're now supposed to be measuring the dough to fit inside here. I would hate for this to stick to my <laughs> table and hands more than it already has. I don't have a rolling pin. I genuinely don't own one. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is just smush this out with my hand, which is actually working pretty well. Hey, yeah, let's use that. Just as like a cookie cutter. That's the size I want my pie crust to be. You know what? Yeah, let's go with that because I think that's gonna work beautifully. I'm gonna flatten it out a little bit more and dust a little bit flour on both sides so then I can stick them in the fridge without them sticking together. So while that chills, I'm gonna bring you over to my stove and we are gonna make the inside filling. It's gonna be like a half jam, half not jam kind of filling. That makes sense, right? Anyway, let's go to the stove. For the strawberry jam, I am using, I have strawberries, I have honey, I have sugar, I have lemon juice, I have some water, which the first things that I wanna put in my pot, I have the water. This is just a very free form recipe, so do whatever you want. And then I'm gonna add maybe a third of my strawberries which I did wash and cut. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of my sugar and honey as well. Um, I think this is like three tablespoons of sugar. I'm just gonna add half of that. I am still on a diet, so I don't wanna add like too, too much sugar into stuff. If I do wanna add sugar, I want it to be mostly natural, like the honey. And we're just gonna do like a healthy squirt, maybe like a tablespoon. I don't want the honey flavor to overpower the strawberry. 
I have it on medium heat. We're just gonna leave it here for a little bit. Right now it looks like a really weird soup. Probably in about five minutes it should be ready. And then we will start kind of squishing everything up from there. Okay, we have made some progress. Being very, very careful here because this is very, very hot. That is what she looks like now. I don't want it to be so liquidy. I want it to be kind of like a gentle syrup. Uh, I am gonna add the rest of my sugar to help thicken it just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of lemon juice. I just wanna get a taste for what the flavor is. Also, I'm so sorry for the noise if you can hear it. My neighbor is mowing their yard. It's been raining here recently. Damn, that's so good. But I need it to be a little bit thicker and for that we need some of the water out. We do wanna keep an eye on it. We don't wanna burn it because that would really, really suck and I'd be really sad. <laughs> I love strawberry tarts. I don't get to have them that often. There you go. It's pretty thick. I can run a spatula through it and it doesn't immediately fall apart. Now we just have to hone in the taste. What did I actually just learn? Hone in is not the correct phrase. Apparently it's home in, like a homing beacon. Anyway, the more you know. So good. Oh my God, no, this is delicious and perfect and amazing. Let the syrup cool for a little bit first because I don't wanna like scorch these fresh strawberries. I've eaten more than I've cooked. It's cool enough now that we can combine it with the strawberry. Okay, so my pie crusts are probably about as done as they're gonna get. So now I'm going to put my filling in them and then put them back in the oven just for a very little bit, not long at all. Just long enough to kind of let the strawberry mixture get really warm and kind of pie filling-y. Oh, here we are. <laughs> I really just wanted to take a moment to just say everything that YouTube really means to me. I'm happy that I've been part of this platform for 10 years. Uh, we all know there's some things going on with YouTube right now. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I've really been enjoying my time on this platform. I grew up with it, essentially. You know, 10 years ago when I first started watching, it was, can you microwave this? What happens if you drop an airbag from 10,000 feet? Like weird silly little things like that. And it does make me happy that channels like that are still on this platform. And maybe they don't get the recognition that they should, but they do make me happy. And I'm happy to see that there are so many wonderful people, small channels and big, that can just make our days a little bit brighter. And if I can do that for you, I'm, I'm happy to be part of that as well. These are my, <laughs> my finished little delightful tarts. Uh, the crust did not turn out correctly, so I'm not even gonna judge myself on that, but uh, I will applaud myself on the fried pie dough play buttons. <laughs> Listen, it's been a weird day. It's lightning and storming outside, so I just wanted to dress up and feel nice and feel good and just say thank you for your support and for being here for me. And I hope I can bring stuff to you that makes you happy and joyful. So I'm gonna try one of these tarts now because I've been baking them for like three hours and I haven't gotten to try a single bite. Uh, I have a special tiny one back here. Ooh, this one's my, my special one. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I did great. Thank you. Everyone, applaud. Thank you. Holy crap. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna eat all of these by myself. Anyways, guys, I love you. I'm excited to see where the future is going to take all of us. And I hope that I can continue being here for you whenever you need me. 
stay cool, stay cute, and I'll see you next time. Mwah. Toodles.